Hotel Level 8000. Level. Two Enjoy Hotel Miami Center for my Miles Altimeter 3004. Said direct Quincy, direct Naples. Let me know if you need the spelling for Quincy. Yeah. Affirmative, only that spelling. November one Joe Hotel, Quincy, Quebec, Uniform, November, Charlie Yankee, Q-U-N-C-Y. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so that is now direct Quincy for a 731 Julio Hotel. Uh, direct Naples. Okay, direct Quincy, uh, then uh, Quincy, then direct Naples. 731 Julio Hotel. All right. Fifteen fifty-nine, three point four for four thousand range. Zero one zero. So just. Do I just put it right in there? Nine hundred thousand. Lakeland and nine hundred thousand. Just indirect. Oh. November four two Bravo contact Tampa approach one one nine hundred point. Indirect. Nineteen sixty five three seven four two Bravo. Q U N C Y. Enter. Enter. Yo. Where'd it go? Straight, straight ahead still. Oh. We're turning a little bit. Yeah, okay, how come it's not on the chart? It is. Delta, Delta, Fort Myers, oh. 3442, Charlie Delta. So what we can do now, now that we're direct Quincy, right? Yep. You highlight this one. Put it Q-U-N-C-Y. It's highlighted. Just push it. No, no, it's highlighted. Just okay. now, Q-U-N-C-Y. Enter. There you go. And it changed it, right? Yep. So now it's flashing. You can get rid of Fission and, and, and Labelle. So hit Menu. And delete. There you go. Oh, I want to do it. Clear, maybe? Yeah, hit the clear button. There you go. Yeah. You hear a little bell, too. Okay. Well, they, they, they messed me up from the G1000. <laughs> you got to go to menu and then get the yeah. delete that leg. All right, so let's see us now. So get your ear flashing. Here, traffic, 12 o'clock. So now we got it's, it's sequence now, right? Yep. So you can just go direct and get it going. Yep. And then go back and clean up your flight plan. Gotcha. Yeah. I want to Charlie traffic, one o'clock, three miles northbound, D35 at six. He just cleared us through here. Yeah. I think the Abidine loads all those those exit marks, doesn't it? It loads each We're position. Not on an airway. Oh, if you're on an airway. Yeah. That's right. You're right. No, I'm not. Never right. <laughs> we'll let the audience judge. Yeah. <laughs> you be the judge. <laughs> No, it's not me. November 06 here across the Moans out of maintain 5,000. So this looks like we're flying over Alaska or something, and this is like a glacier. Because that's all you see is clouds. Yeah. Waiting for like Mount Rainier to pop up in the distance. Check Lake 1, 9,000. Do what now? I got to pee again. Don't drink so much. Number zero six Sierra. Just, uh, just send him in. Why would he do that? Why just do what? He's just saving us time. Yeah, he's cleaning it up. He 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 opened up ahead of us a little bit. So right now, right now we're only we're, we're given a path, right? But he's watching us leg for leg. Okay. He opened up the flight plan. Now he can leave us alone for a while. Yeah. Yeah. As he's cleared that leg. 
For the most part, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I haven't read my pilot controller glossary in a couple days. <laughs> I'm assuming that nothing's going to interfere with us between yeah. here and there. And, and, and you kind of see from your TCAS, right? Yep, yep. These started, well, we're, we're going to be going through these, but the bottom half started 7,000. Do they? Yep. Did my homework, man, right here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Surface to 14. Oh, one of them starts at 7. Oh, maybe that's for, um... There we go. There it is. There's the yeah, 7,000. 7, and this one's 7,000. Yep. He's got us at 8. They're probably cold. Yeah, they're, they're always cold. <laughs> How could you do a bombing run today? <laughs> Can't see shit. <gasps> Dude, they have technology that we're never going to see in our lifetime. I'm sure. I kind of like this layout. So those of you on YouTube, this is kind of nice. Let me know. Uh, leave a leave a comment below. I'm sure there are uh, those of you out there have your own way of doing this. I get it. But I like this layout because I see my flight plan here. And there's plenty of real estate still for my for my map position. Everyone has a choice. Yeah. I had a guy in the TBM the other day, the G3000. It doesn't do it vertically. It lays it out on like a, a profile view. Yeah. That same brick you're We can do profile view. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we just we couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. Um, I think it has something to do with the SIM. Because why would a G3000 not give you, especially if you can do split screen options? All right there. Well, except this is on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the sim. You know, I, I don't get enough time in, in, in TBMs to, to, to say that uh, I, I, I'm a 100% master. I am. Right. I, I'm more of a systems teacher. You know? There's a lot of systems there. This is kind of nice because I can see local weather. It's coming in on... Uh, uh, something. What do you call it? ADSB, right? Yep. Oh, cumulative versus leg. Gotcha. Leg. I like leg to leg. Yep. I like to know how long I got before I have to pull over. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Check the oil. Bleed the brakes. Yeah, this would have been. This would have been no bueno. BFR. No, no. There's no holes. No. You, you could have went VFR. It would have been a bad decision, but you yeah. could have went. Good ADM. This is ideally what you want, though, when you're IFR. You are not stuck in this by any means whatsoever. Well, this is why I want to be a certificated instrument pilot, because I can defer to the plane. So I won 1500 bucks today on wings. You what? I won 1500 bucks today. How'd you do that? They have a, a... I don't know if I want to call it a competition, but it's a drawing. And flight instructors... So when you go through wings, I know I've taught you about wings. You haven't used it, so you probably don't remember very much. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, you use it towards your flight reviews and things like that. And it's... Uh, it, I know you've been on, on AOPA. Yep. And they have these little classes you can take, and you get yeah. little certificates and stuff. Well, the one on wings, you take these little classes throughout every or throughout your two-year period, mm -hmm. and I can apply them towards your flight review. Okay. Okay. And when I sign each one of those off, I, I get put into a drawing. Nice. You know, I've been putting in classes for that. Very reason. Uh, you haven't been sending them to me. See if that uh, works. Three one Juliet Hotel, Miami. I'll go ahead for uh, Juliet Hotel. I'm sorry. Uh, one Juliet Hotel. The center maintains seven thousand. Seven thousand seven one Juliet Hotel. So vertical speed, right? Yep. Shadows right there. So there you go. Helpful. Oh, maybe down a little bit. Is it sticking? Yeah, it'll stick. I'm trying to figure out. That's the spot there. 
Yeah. November 1 2, Charlie, contact Fort Myers approach 126.8. Uh, so you get what I mean? So, it's one of those things where they put you in for a drawing, but you go, ah, I'll never win it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, one day at breakfast on a Sunday, some random guy, I'm a volunteer for the FAA safety team, and uh, I just want to make sure I got the right guy. Yeah. Yeah. I've been signing up for those. I got a couple uh, next month. You got to send them to you got to send them to my, to my email address. Oh, okay. I, I'm registered in that, and I'll sign those uh, off for you. Because they don't they don't do you any good unless an instructor goes in and goes, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you get the reward for the certificate, right? But you don't get the reward for the training being acknowledged. Yeah. The, and, and the FAA will acknowledge that training. Where'd the camera go? Yeah, see? It's in the shadow now. What you did with the clip. Oh, okay. But yeah, see, it's in the shadow now. There you go. Well, I uh, neglected to uh, change the battery on the rear camera, which was picking up the uh, cockpit audio. But I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the different perspective <laughs> of the Perspective Plus system uh, from the back so you get a little feel for what goes on in the cockpit. And, you know, I promised you an approach and a landing, and I'm going to deliver. Uh, this is our approach into Naples. You can see why we had to file IFR here. And um, as we quickly zip through this, um, hopefully you've enjoyed... Uh, a little bit more of the exposure to the Perspective Plus. It is an incredible system. It's taken me a little bit of uh, time to uh, understand the differences between the Perspective Plus and the old Avdine system, because they are different. Uh, they have different keystrokes and, and so forth. And as time goes by, my flow is going to get better and better. And uh, hopefully by the time I take my uh, check ride, it, uh, <laughs> it's perfect or near perfect. And um, I can start fly making these flights without Vern. I can make them on my own. But thanks for watching this and uh, hope you're enjoying these 360 videos, especially on this approach. Uh, it's just an incredible and a, and a, and a really cool immersive experience uh, on the approach. So here's the approach into Naples.